Hale from Redcar Children's Centre. We've come here today to hand out some of our leaflets. Outreach is important in our role. Um, obviously, we, we try and engage people that don't access you, access you with that. So it's important to go out within the community and we've canvassed in supermarkets, schools, had stand in town centre, so we're always trying to think of new ways to engage within the community. Leo and I are working in, in the children's centre on a, a two-year pilot right, about so employment and training. Yeah. Um, is that something that would interest you at the moment? Unfortunately not at the moment. Uh, my wife's not well and we want to get a uh, disability uh, living allowance for her. Right, have you already applied for that? I have once been turned down. I do have benefit background. That's great. So if you do want any help with benefits and things, yeah. so if you need to great. ask anything or need an appointment, just give me a ring. Yeah, will do. Do you know that we help with employment um, training now? Because we have some um, activities on an afternoon. Okay. It's just been nice for you to get involved in a class and make new friends as well. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. yeah. oh, I've just moved up here. Because it's be sometimes nice. hard, yeah. isn't it, to... Yeah. to go Very in nice. first of all. Mm. Sometimes when you've had a baby, um, you lose your confidence and it's difficult then to walk into the children's centre for the first time. So when we do outside marketing, we will say, do you know about Shiver Start? And then we would offer, you know, if you want to come into a session, we understand how difficult it is to come in. Can we get somebody to come into the session with you for your first time? Or, you know, we could visit them at home and, and help them access sessions. Hello. Hello. The home visiting are mainly by referral, so we might get a referral from a health visitor, a school nurse, um, family support workers. A lot of the time when they've asked us to do a home visit, it's because the person hasn't got the confidence to come into the children's centre. So we'll go and assure them that, you know, this is the first step um, and that they've been brave enough to say, come and see us. So what's the next step that they want to take? I understand that you don't really get out very much and you'd like to join some of the sessions. Yeah, it'd be good to start getting out and about and seeing what's available to me. Well, what we thought is we've got a what's on guide with us that shows the different things going on in the centres. Yeah. But it's not always that easy to just come in when you don't know anybody. So if you wanted to, either Leah or I could go in with you or we can get somebody to come out and see you as well and they would introduce you to sessions. So they would go with me? If yeah. I to go, right? Yeah. It's pointless to sit here thinking, oh, we've got wonderful facilities and everybody will flood through the doors. Um, many parents don't have the confidence to flood through the doors. A lot of people don't know what happens inside a children's centre. It's very daunting if you've had numerous bad experiences and you've got no self-confidence or you're trapped at home with two or three very small children, that we go out and reach people out in the community and promote what we have to offer.